What is going on guys? Today we are talking about the new allegations against Vince McMahon. My god, it seems like it's a never-ending story with him. So we heard about the hush money payments that he made the women, where there was alleged sexual activity going on. One of them always stood out to me. Now there was an allegation that a woman was passed between Vince and John Laurinaitis. This might be the one here. So keep in mind too, these are allegations at the moment. Nothing has been proven. There is a lawsuit going on, so we'll see how the lawsuit goes. But we're going to look at these allegations here from WrestleOps. More on the new sex trafficking lawsuit via the Wall Street Journal. Janelle Grant's lawsuit alleged that she met Vince McMahon in March 2019 and was looking for a job after her parents had died. McMahon recruited people to have sex with Grant as well including WWE's former head of talent relations, John Laurinaitis, who is named as a defendant in the suit. The suit states that in May 2020 encounter, McMahon defecated on her head during a threesome. McMahon allegedly forcibly used sex toys on her, including dildos he named after WWE wrestlers, causing her bruising and bleeding. The suit cited a July 2020 text that said others at WWE wanted to have sex with her after seeing photos on McMahon's phone and the group laughed when he told them she may scream and try to say no, although it would be difficult to say anything with a penis down her throat. Of course, I have to kind of clean up the language here because it goes into major, major gross detail. And then we do have some screenshots of text messages allegedly between Grant and Vince McMahon. So there was a public document because these are all added into the lawsuit. So these were brought in as evidence. There is a huge file that could be downloaded. Uh, maybe we'll go over that in another video. So we have at 138. So this is the 138th item in the document. Following the threesome on May 11, 2020, McMahon sent in a split message to Miss Grant that further detailed his fantasies of seeing her engage in sexual relations. So this is Vince to Janelle. I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be fucked twice a day and not just with blank in a three-way. Why not let others see the beautiful, voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you come? They'll go out of their minds, then I'll find more friends and we'll tie you up so you're helpless. I'll direct them to have their way any way they want. Who can make you scream the loudest? Maybe I'll just line them up and have them squirt in your mouth, in your P word, all over your tits and ass, all at the same time. You'll be covered in cum and we'll make you eat it all and taste everyone's cum. The next morning you'll be a little sore, but you're still going to want more. And then this is number 142 in the document. After the threesomes began, McMahon became more sadistic and his fantasies focused on control such as choking, sensory deprivation, pain, humiliation, and group scenarios in which Miss Grant was to be physically overwhelmed and subservient. So this is another text message here. RE your last picture. You need your panties ripped off and three big black penises in all three of your holes at the same time, way up your P word, way up your ass, as far as they can go, but even further. And only the thickest C word goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulsed as those big black C words pound away. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted, but it's just made you come non-stop. Just one continuous constant orgasm, and just before you pass out, those big black D words squirt their load of cum inside of you. As you lay on your stomach, the cum is coming out of all your holes. I'll turn you over and jack off all over you. That is absolutely disgusting. Then we have this one, number 147. Around the time McMahon openly shared explicit photos and salacious stories about Miss Grant with WWE crew at TV tapings, a group McMahon referred to as her fan club. Indeed, McMahon messaged her a truthful story of having just shared explicit content of her with a group of 12 men, WWE tech crew, and recounted the obscene details he shared with them. So we have a couple more text messages here. I just passed my phone around to a bunch of guys on the tech crew. They were screaming, oh my god, 
She's fucking beautiful. Look at that ass. I'd like to get that. I paused to count out loud how many guys there were. Twelve. Then I said, okay, there's twelve of you and she would love to F each and every one of you at one time. The guys cheered. But she will only do it if she takes three at the time. That brought a huge reaction. She wants one deep in her A, one deep in her throat, and one in her P word. And you can pound her and keep on pounding her till you pop your load. She may scream and try to say no, although it would be difficult to say anything with a C word down her throat. They laughed, then said, listen, no matter what, just pound away until you squirt. Baby, these guys were having a blast with me. Some of them didn't believe me, so I said, you were the greatest F in the world, and no matter how much you get, you always wanted more. And then I said, she loves come baby. These texts, as we call them, were having the time of their life, listening to my truthful story. I then said you would take a 10 minute break between each effing, but then you would get back on your hands and knees with your ass in the air and say, okay, I'm ready, who's next? I drove them wild, baby. Or I should say, you drove them wild. Just imagine if this really happened, baby. How much cum you would have coming out of your holes. Jesus fucking Christ. And we have this one here, number 158. On February 5th, 2021, McMahon sent Miss Grant to establish a schedule for when other men, including physical therapists and Laurenitis, could have sex with Miss Grant, which Miss Grant attempted to rebuff. So we have Vince. Exactly, baby. He's not only the one blank called me this afternoon begging to eat you and F you with his nice and hard D word. Uh, Grant, give me another week, baby, and I'll be ready. I'm feeling more like myself. It's not great, but it's getting better. Tell him soon. Vince, I already told him, baby. By the way, Johnny wants Tuesdays, but not this coming one and the occasional Saturday. But maybe I can shift it to Thursday nights? Johnny would like all of the above. So this is number 169. McMahon also indicated on April 2nd, 2021 that if Miss Grant should obey, if Laura Nice wanted to bring in yet more men. Now keep in mind too, Vince is married to Linda McMahon. Laura Nitus is married to the Bella Twins mother. So they're all doing this while married. So Vince says, maybe he wants two other guys to join you with him. Holy shit. You told him you would do anything with him. So if he surprised you with two others, you would have no alternative than to take them on. Oh my god, the stories you could tell me then. It makes me want to come right now. By the way, I just thought of what I think is an excellent idea. Maybe you can hint that if he knows someone who can be discreet, it might be better if you and Johnny try him out first so he can get more comfortable before he is introduced to me. Actually, that makes total sense, does it? Why is uh, Vince McMahon writing like a Gen Z here? Like the OMG, the U, the B. This is so weird. And we have 179 here. On May 24th, 2021, McMahon messaged Miss Grant to remind her that a mistake could destroy her career and that she should pause verbal communication rather than written where possible. These compliments will keep on coming, baby. Just wait and see. I totally understand and agree. RE being scared of communication and photos. Johnny gets drunk and sloppy and could easily make a mistake that could cost him his job and yours. Verbal communication is the way to go. That said, have you and Johnny talk about breakfast tomorrow? She replies, we haven't discussed it at all. It's up in the air. Johnny complained about getting a new phone and it just arrived. I haven't set up time to coordinate send it up with IT because I need him to assure me that he's erased everything he's ever saved. Truly, I regret that he ever got pics. It's not worth the stressing that I'm feeling. I'm done with it. And then we have number 197. McMahon continued to advertise a sexual encounter with Miss Grant to WWE Superstar during the formal negotiation of a new booking contract with WWE. So we got another text message from Vince. Here's what Blank said after I told him that part of the deal was effing you. LOL, that's your turf. She will be ruined after me and leave your ass. Plus, after me, your tool won't fit anymore. We have number 19. McMahon also subjected Miss Grant to acts of extreme cruelty and degradation 
that caused Miss Grant to disassociate and or become numb to reality in order to survive the horrific encounters. We have number 20 as one example of McMahon's extreme depravity. On May 9th, 2020, he defecated on Miss Grant during a threesome and then commanded her to continue pleasuring his friend with feces in her hair and running down her back. Well, McMahon went to the bathroom too and cuts off there but probably to clean up. So if there's any updates on this, I'll let you guys know. So don't forget to click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.